Neve, we're here in Tokyo ahead of the second test match. That's another really solid day's training in the bank. Yeah, look, it's been a brilliant couple of weeks since we got here, to be fair. The heat and the humidity are um, on another level, something we haven't experienced before. But I just think that, um, you know, for this group to be here, it's just it's been an unbelievable few weeks, really. And the three themes of the tour have been hard work, opportunity and development. And as, co and as a coaching group, you've really pushed the players both on and off the field. Yeah, look, I think it was a huge opportunity for us to be able to train, you know, a few times a week together, uh, being able to back up sessions, I think, you know, putting them under pressure and stress of training, hoping that the game will be a little bit easier. And I think, you know, the, the game last week showed that. I think we played really, really well in patches. Obviously, there's been a lot of work on that we've been working on this week. But I think in terms of the education about how we look after ourselves and what we do on and off the pitch um, has repercussions on how we train and the quality that we can train in. Um, so I think from that end, it's just been a really good learning for the last couple of weeks from both the player and the coach perspective. You mentioned the heat and humidity and the challenge, I guess, of backing it up. The group have been together now three weeks, so it's, it's been intense and, and players, as you say, are learning all the time about how to adapt to that kind of training lifestyle. Yeah, hugely. Look, and I think that's what's going to be brilliant about this programme going forward. I think once we become more full time, you know, players that get used to backing up training sessions after training sessions, which we wouldn't be used to. I think we, we develop that kind of robustness and resilience to be able to do that. I think that's definitely been a struggle for us this week. We put a huge amount of effort into that game last Saturday. And to be fair, you know, we're still fatigued, we're still tired, we're still trying to recover. Um, and it's trying to educate those players that while we have a lot of information that we want to give and a lot of work we want to do, we can do a huge amount of that off the pitch. Um, we don't need to be flogging each other uh, on it. So, um, but yeah, look, I think, I think it, these two weeks are going to be so beneficial to us as a group in terms of the education going forward, in terms of how much we can push each other, how we recover, the importance of the nutrition, the importance of staying off our feet, um, just so that we can train at a high level again the next day. And I think as a playing group, you know, irrelevant of the result this Saturday, that's, that's, going, that's going to be the big win for us taking this way. And specifically for the backs in your area, you must be so pleased with how particularly those uncapped players have come in, they've gelled and they've really connected and built cohesion within the group. Yeah, look, it's brilliant. They've come in with no fear, which has been an unbelievable thing for me. I think um, from a coaching point of view, I love the fact that their training age, even though they're 18 or 19, it's bigger than some of the girls that are, are older in this squad because they've all been playing since they've been kids. And so from that point of view, they can fix things really quickly and they can take things up and they can learn things quickly. And, um, and as a coach, that's all you want. You know, you want to be giving them as much information, but you also want to empower them to be able to play what they see in front of them. And um, trying to strike that balance has been a bit of a challenge, I won't lie, but um, I think it's important that, you, you know, that those players know that they have a huge, you have a huge amount of confidence and I have a huge amount of confidence in them to be able to go and play the, the way they want. But off the pitch, they're incredible. They're great crack. And... Um, uh, yeah, look, it's great to see them gelling so well. Personally, you've had so many highs and lows in an Ireland jersey during your playing career, and now you're obviously on the coaching side of things. What has this tour been like, and, and how is it compared to previous years? It's such an exciting time for this programme. Yeah, hugely. I just think this programme can be so big and can do so much. I think the, the joy about it is that, and, and probably the most exciting thing about it, is that it's, you can start it from scratch, and you're literally building it the way that you want to build it. And I think that's like that's really, really exciting. And I think from a coaching perspective and the experience over the last couple of weeks is, has probably been better than anything I've experienced as a player because you know it's it's you're on the other side of it you don't have to have the nerves and the anxiousness about playing you don't have to you know but you you've different nerves and different anxiousnesses but they're 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 not you know they're not on the pitch it's about the work that we're doing off it so um but yeah look I've just really enjoyed the last few weeks and feel like I've got better as a coach and um hopefully continue to do that brilliant thank you thanks I mean